again, never again. Will I listen? I believe the lies of the devil. Lamb, for he's a liar. Rest for the whole life. John 8 for the he's a liar. So you know this is the lies of the devil. The devil says you cannot be healed. It's a lie. The devil says you cannot get in the middle. It's a lie. Sometimes you get healed and you can't bring the sickness back. It's a lie. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Will I listen to the voice of the wicked one? From today, I satisfy. Listen to the voice of the wicked one. Yes. Listen, after 40 days of 40 nights fasting, he spoke to Jesus. The, the, the truth that came and said, If you are the son of God, if you are the son of God, if you don't know who you are, the devil, then if you are the son of God, command this to be made. Jesus said, It's written. Today, that's what we are praying the scripture. He has given me authority to turn up on seven things over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing's all right, let me say to you. Listen, you are coming out of that terrible. Indecisiveness. Never again will I live in, 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 in with, with the spirit of procrastination. No, you will stop. Every day you postpone it. That's just procrastination. Every day you postpone it. Never again will the devil come for your father. The children will be here. That autism spirit will kill you. Believe the word of the Lord. That confusion in your matrimonial home, I cast it in the name of Jesus. So today, you want your papa will live in the world. Say never again. Say never again. Will I be harassed by enemy? Say never again. Will I be vexed by the grace spirit? They will vex your spirit and provoke you and vex you. Jesus delivered them from vexation. Luke chapter six verse eighteen. They were delivered from vexation. One of the things vex what they do, and they that were vexed with the clean spirit showed them vexation when controlled by the clean spirit. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Social media and those um, Facebook, YouTube, and whatever is accessible for you. Um, we bless God for the opportunity. Hallelujah. Today, um, I believe it's a good day. And every day, victory is every day for an advancement of your life. You are where you are as a result of the prayer you pray in the past. And whatever you be in the future will be determined by the prayer you are praying now. So, um, this is what Jesus said about prayer. Men ought always to pray and never faint or never give up. This is what Paul said about prayer. He said, that pray without ceasing. And in Colossians chapter 4, he said, continue in prayer. And so, it's on it. We cannot stop. 
one of the greatest attacks of the devil on your life is when you cannot pray. If you really cannot pray, then you are under rare attack. You have to be very careful. Hallelujah. Amen. And it takes discipline to be prayerful. You have to force your way into it. You have to push. Because once you wake up and you sense you cannot pray, and for some reason prayer is difficult, Satan is about to launch, and, uh, I mean, some dangerous attack on your life. You must not give him that place. So stay alive as we pray. Today we are dealing with something, something that has been meditating on it, that in the name of Jesus, a prayer to end your dry season. Amen. Prayer to end Amen. your dry season. Amen. There are dry seasons in our lives as we walk with God. And it's possible that somebody is going through some dry season right now. Hallelujah. And when I say dry season, don't even blink an eye. There are physical dry season. Yeah. There are material dry season. Jesus, I don't have what to wear. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. We, have, we have physical dry season. Mm. It, it, it is characterized by lack of good health. Mm. Physical dry season. Yeah. People are going through afflictions, mm. challenges. Mm. They have heard reports that is giving them sleepless night. If you happen to have that thing, it's possible you are in a dry season. But today we are going to pray that a dry season will end. Amen. And once I mention your dry season, know that prophetically it's going to end. Hallelujah. Amen. It's characterized by lack of good health, uh, physical working conditions, and bad environment. Mm. You live in some kind of environment and it's making things difficult. Physical dry season. And we have uh, what you call material dry season. My goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. My goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Lack of material blessing. That one is characterized by lack of material blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, oh, no, 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 no. Listen, I keep telling people that having a car is not a luxury. It's necessity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's necessity. It's not a luxury. Yeah. I mean, if you live in the capital city of Ghana, you need a car. Mm. And I pray that today, every material dry season in your life will come to an end. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, ah, there are even a, a political dry season. Mm. Yes. When we are in opposition. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I don't know how you people take it, but that is a fact. <laughs> Just if you're a full-time politician. Jesus. You know a full-time politician. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have any business, nothing. Your oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You lose your parliamentary. That, that is another dimension. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a serious dimension. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, it's also characterized by lack of political vision. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have the position, but you cannot function well. So it's very, it's very strong. It's not just losing the party. So uh, those who are in opposition are possible. They are in political dry season. But those who are in power, but lack vision. Mm. Wow. Okay. Because lacking vision as a leader causes the people to perish. Yes, sir. And you yourself can also perish. Mm. Huh? Vision. Lack of political, even leadership. Mm. Don't like, because whether we like it or not, we live in a democratic dispensation. Mm. And don't having good politicians can affect your advancement of your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we have that. And what about this one? Everybody will love it. Economic dry season. Yeah. Economic dry season. Hallelujah. Today, as we lift our voice in prayer, we break every economic dry season. Hallelujah. This is going to be a very serious prayer. And you have to pray from the depth of your heart. And believe God that there shall be some performance somewhere. That every dry season in your life will come to an end. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Every dry season in my life. As I lift my voice in prayer. Comes to an end. There is a spiritual dry season. Spiritual what? Dry season. Ha! And most time it's characterized by lack of God's presence. You can't sense the presence of God. You, you, I mean, God is silence. Jesus Christ. Uh, have you ever come to the place that God doesn't talk? Mm. You pray, nothing happens. Hallelujah. Amen. Lack of God's presence. Lack of spiritual power. Oh, 
uh, it comes with low spiritual sensitivity. Today something must end in somebody's yeah. life. Mm, mm. Another one, lack of appetite for God's word. You just don't feel like reading the word. You take it, you read one verse and you are sleepy. You just don't feel like. You can even go on, no, no, no. Flip on the social media for hours and never read the word. You are, you are in a spiritual dry season. And today there must be a revival. Amen. I say there must be a revival. Amen. I say there must be a revival. Amen. Marco Daba. The living waters must flow. Amen. Oh, anyone that thirst must come. He said, out of him that come, the rivers of living water. He said, when you are thirsty, come. When you are thirsty, you are come. Anyone who is thirsty, my goodness. One of the ways to kill any kind of dry season, especially a spiritual one, is a test and hunger for God. It moves you to do some things like fasting and prayer. Amen. Amen. And this is the best time to kill any spiritual, spiritual dry season. Amen. Because once you are fasting, let me, get you, let me say this one before we pray. If you get the spiritual dry season straight in, all the other dry season can fall in place. Amen. Because everything in the natural comes from the spiritual realm. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes. Hallelujah. Social dry season. Oh, there's another one for students that is praying. Academic dry season. Mm. Academic dry season. It, it, it's characterized by lack of knowledge. Mm. Lack of understanding. They are teaching you are going to lectures, but you don't understand. Today, by the finger of God, Jesus. we break every causes of dry season Amen. in your life. In the name that is above every other name. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 7, all the way to verse number 15. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee unto the good land, and the land of brooks, of water, of fountains, and of depth, that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and wines and fig trees and pomegranate, a land of a land of oil, olive, and honey, a land wherewith thou shalt eat bread without scarcity. My goodness, thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron. What a land. And out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandment and his judgment and his statutes. Also, for there is a responsibility when God blesses us. We can never sit down and just enjoy the blessing and think God has forgotten. He say here that when thou are eating and they are full, then you must remember. It is dangerous to be blessed and forget. Forget God. Forget where the blessing is coming from. May we never get into that situation. Amen. Constantly in tune with the things of God. Amen. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God. Wow. Ah, it's uh, 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 for the Lord thy God. In not keeping his commandment and his judgment and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, lest when thou was eating and are full, and hast built godly houses and dwelt therein. And when thy head and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thy heart be lifted up. You are in dry season. And thou forget the Lord thy God. Hey, can we come to the place and be so blessed that we forget God? I know she. I know she. Hallelujah. Amen. Can any of us here can be so blessed? That we wake up that day and God is not in our equation. May we never come there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness wherein were fearless serpents and scorpions and drought where there was no water. Who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a sign that they were in a dry season when they were in the land of Bodje, but the Lord brought them out. Today, as we pray, 
the God that delivered these people from bondage. Jesus. Every form of dry season. Jesus. As you pray passionately from your heart, I declare you are coming out of it. Amen. I say you are coming out of it. Amen. Academic dry season. Amen. Hey, career dry season, Amen. career and business dry. Till there are people listening to me, their business are not going the way it must go. Is somebody understanding what I'm talking about? Oh, Kadibaya, marital dry season. Can we talk and forget about that one? Problems in marriage, misunderstanding and confusion. Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus. as we lift up our voice in prayer, the ones I mentioned, the ones I have not mentioned, academic dry season, yes, spiritual dry yes, season, Lord. physical dry yes, season, Lord. economic dry yes, season, Lord. marital dry yes, season, Lord. emotional yes, dry Lord. season, financial dry yes, season. Lord. We declare in the name of Jesus, Amen. may it come to an end. Amen. May it come to an end. Amen. Lift up your voice. Oh Lord, end dry seasons in my life. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Father, end dry seasons in my life. Cause every dry season to end. Raka Sarabaya. Every spiritual dry season in the name of Jesus as I pray Lord and spiritual dry season I pray Lord let physical dry season in my life end I pray Lord let material dry season in my life end lift your voice and pray that is a particular dry season you are going up you are going through lift your voice and pray that it will end economic dry season cause it to end in my life every form of dry season social dry season oh lord Makadabaya, moral dry season, Rakadabaya, where you cannot speak the truth. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, cause it to end. Shibadabaya, Rabandelebekaba, Rabat. Hey, Shadabaya, Andelebekaba, Shibrandelebekaba, Rabandelebekaba, Shibrandelebekaba, Rabandelebekaba, Shibrandelebekaba, Rakasanabaya, Rakasanabaya. Every career dry season, business dry season, where your business is going through turbulence, we pray that it ends. Father, we command it to 
to end. Shopadabaya, bring it to an end. End of dry season. Prayer to end dry seasons in your life. Lord, spiritual dry season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makadabaya, difficulty in reading the word. Weakness is in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deal with every spiritual dry season in your life. Makadabaya, Randalabakaba, lack of God's presence. Lord, your presence in my life. Lack of spiritual power. Release your power. Baptism of fire. Rakadabaya. Low spiritual sensitivity. Let me be sensitive to your voice. Lack of appetite for your way. And spiritual dry season. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Rakadabaya. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Rakasadabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibadabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibadabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibadabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda Labakabam. Jibranda 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 Rakasadabam, Jibranda Labakabam, Jibranda Labakabam, Lakasunibam, Jibranda Labakabam, Janda Labakabam, Jibranda Labakabam, Rakadabam. I pray for an end to every kind of dry season, lack of appetite for your way. Lord, your presence in my life, every business dry season, I command you to come to an end. Academic dry season. From today, difficulties in learning, I command it to come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, intellectual dry season, every marital dry season, any married going through turbulence. <coughs> Lord, every financial dry season in my life, let it come to an end. We are praying to end dry season. We are praying to end what is called dry season in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it end right now. Financial dry season, where your finances are not stable, where your finances are under attack. Break every financial dry season. We speak in the name of Jesus. Please share the message right now. There is somebody that you must share for the person to come online for dry season to end. Financial dry season. In the name of Jesus, come to an end. Every kind of physical dry season in the life of God's people. We command your assignment to come to an end. Every kind of demonic dry season. Every season caused by the pit of hell. We break it in the name of Jesus. Rakadabaya. Financial dry season. In the name of Jesus, we command it to come to an end. We speak right now that you enter your season of blessing. You enter your season of breakthrough. You enter your season 
of divine visitation, every kind of dry season, Rakadabaya, Randelebekaba, in the wilderness experience, in the desert experience, we speak to it right now. Jibrandelebekaba, Baraba, Jibrandelebekaba, Rakadabaya, Jibrandelebekaba, Jibrandelebekaba, Rakadabaya, Jibrandelebekaba, Rakadoya, and the Lebekaba. Any opportunity dry season, we command it to come to an end. Let opportunities flow in the name of Jesus. Rakadabaya, Jibrandelebekaba, Rakadabaya, Jibrandelebekaba, 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 Rakadabaya. Dry season holds down blessings. Dry season holds down favor. Dry season holds down promotion. Therefore, we command every dry season to end. No dry season in your life. We hold down your blessing. Shabranda la baya, rakanda la beka ba ba la ba. Shukadu ya anda la beka ba. Shabranda la beka ba ba la ba. Mukadu ba manda la beka ba. Shabranda la beka ba ba la ba. Shabranda la beka ba. Rakata ba. Shanda la beka ba ba la ba. Anda la beka ba. Shabranda la beka ba ba la ba. Shabranda la beka ba ba la ba. Shakata ba manda la beka ba. Shabranda la beka ba ba. Rakadabam, Jibrandalabakabam, lift up Balabam, lift your voice and ask the Lord to help you. Lord, help me, help me, and end every dry season in my life. Lord, let your supernatural power, let the power of the Holy Spirit, let every dry season, physical dry season, material dry season, Lord, in the name of Jesus, economic dry season, Lord. Business and career dry season. Lord, I speak in the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end. Academic dry season. Where you cannot feather your course. Where you are finding it difficult to learn. Lift your voice and pray. Because at the end of this prayer, those barriers in opposition will be broken. Marital dry season. Where you are not happy in a marriage. It is the work of the enemy. Command it to come to an end. Rakadabaya. Rabandelebekabam. Shibrandelebekabam. Mandela be kabam, para bam. Shika do ba ya, Mandela be kabam. Shubrandela be kabam, bam. Financial dry season. Lift your voice and break every financial dry season. What we bind on them shall be bound. What we lose shall be loose. There is somebody watching me from Canada. Your cana, your financial dry season is coming to an end. I speak to that person watching me from Nigeria. I break that financial dry season. It comes to an end. Rakada ba ya, Mandela be kabam. Barabam, Jibrandele be kabam, Lakada ba, Rabandele be kabam, Barabam, Jibrandele be kabam, Jibrandele be kabam. There is somebody your landlord is evicting you right now. He has asked you to leave the house. I declare 24 hours of an end to any financial dry season. You will be visited. The Lord will visit you and bring financial blessing. Every dry season in your life, I command any form of dry season. Rakada. The God that brought Israel from bondage, from slavery, from that dry season, may that God same God bring you out of every dry season. Shabrandele bekabam, rabandele bekabam, shikatuya andele bekabam, shubrandele bekabam, para bandele bekabam, shubrandele bekabam, para bam, makada bam, shubrandele bekabam, para bandele bekabam, shubrandele bekabam, para bam, shikatuya andele bekabam. Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shubrandele be kabab ba Rakada ba Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shenta kabab ba 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 Rakadu ba 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 Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shubrandele be kabab ba 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 Shukadu ba Rapanda la bakaba ba ba ba, Jibranda la bakaba ba ba ba, Rapanda la bakaba, Jikadu ya anda la bakaba, Jibranda la bakaba ba ba ba, Rapanda la bakaba, Jibranda la bakaba ba ba ba, Rapanda la bakaba, Jibranda la bakaba ba ba ba. 
Rakada pa, Rabanda la kabam, Jibranda la kabam, Rabanda la kabam, Jibranda la kabam. We command every season to end. Let every dry season end. Lift your voice and address every dry season in your life. Address it. Address it. Your mountain must hear your voice. You shall say to this mountain, "Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea." Speak to your dry season, whether it's academic dry season, financial dry season, economic dry season, marital dry season, physical dry season. The dry season I'm talking about. A dry season can be very chaotic. A dry season the name can be very traumatic. Therefore, address it and speak to it. It holds down blessing. Dry season holds down blessing. Makadaba and causes all kinds of trouble and apprehension and anxiety. Address your dry season. Say financial dry season. I am not your candidate. Economic dry season. Get out of my life. Financial dry season. I am not your candidate. I am a child of God. I belong to the Lord. I am a child of God. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. For my sake, Jesus Christ became poor that I will be rich. Therefore, every financial dry season, I command you, lose your grace. Foul spirit of the enemy, take your hands off my finances. I speak to every dry season in my life. You come to an end today. Lift your voice and pray. Any opportunity dry season in your life, speak to it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, any opportunity farming, you are not getting opportunities. Command it to come to an end. Where there is no opportunity spiritually or physically available, address that mountain right now. You shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. Address every mountain. Lord, I address every mountain. Financial dry season. Financial dry season. Come to an end in my life. From today, I am not going down financially. I speak in the name of Jesus. Let my finances straighten up. If you are on Facebook or YouTube, please, by the special grace of God, I want you to say it. Share the link right now. Command, command somebody to come. There is somebody God can use you to deliver the person from any form of dry season. Let the dry season come to an end. Every form of dry season in my life. Speak to it right now. Address it right now. We are praying against every form of dry season in your life. Address it right now. Every marital dry season where the marriage is in turbulence. Speak to it right now in the name of Jesus. Jubranda 
I dress every dry season. Speak to every mountain. Makadaba mandala bakabam. Jibranda la bakabam. Jibranda la bakabam. Para bandala bakabam. Jibranda la bakabam. Let every dry season in my life, my children, my husband, my wife, now pick your loved ones and start praying for them. Speak to everyone. Declare in the name of Jesus. Dry season in the life of my wife. Come to an end. My husband, come to an end. Business dry season, career dry season. I address you now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In that way, my business is going to dry season. Let it come to an end. God will honor this prayer. The Lord will respond. Heaven will honor this prayer. Tomorrow by this time, your dry season will end. In the name of Jesus. Ah, let the heavens on your head you be. Let one say the name of Jesus. Satanic umbrella. Blocking my showers of blessing. I command you to die right now. Say in the name of Jesus. Allows of pestilence. Poverty. Sickness. Disease. Against my life. Through dry season. Today, your assignment is over. As I lift my voice in prayer, let the fire of the Lord be released against every dry season in my life. It's over. It's over. Lift your voice and enforce the prophetic word. We command dry season to end. Marital dry season. Academic dry season. Financial dry season. Economic dry season. Whichever country you are, we speak and address dry season. Somebody lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus, I claim back. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I claim back all good things which I have lost as a result of any form of dry season. In the name of Jesus, I declare that today I receive restoration. Total restoration. Lift your voice and pray for restoration. Anything you have lost through dry season in your life as the dry season comes 
come to an end. Let there be a restoration. Rakadabaya. Restoration of your finances. Restoration of your marriage. Restoration of your academic excellence. Restoration of your business. Restoration of your marital statue. Rakadabaya. Rabandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Lekadaba. Rabandala Rakabapa. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Lakaduba. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rakadaba. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibadaba. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rakadaba. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Lakaduba. Mandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. 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 Jibrandala Rakabam. Rakadabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Rakadabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rakadayam. Jibrandabayam. Randala Rakabapa. Rabandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabandala Rakabam. Randala Rakabapa. Rabandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Mokadopa. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Jibrandala Rakabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabam. Randala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Rabam. Jibrandala Rakabapa. Jibrandala Rakabam. 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 Jibrandala Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Rakabapa, Rabandala Rakabapa, Jibrandala Let every dry season in my life end. Jibranda la bakabam, rakadaba. Jibranda la bakabapa, rabam. Jibranda la bakabam, rakadaba. I speak to every dry season in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, opportunity dry season. Today your assignment is over. Makadaba, rabanda la bakabam. Resources dry season. Your assignment is over. Financial dry season. Your assignment is over. Yeah. 
any kind of emotional in the name of Jesus Christ. It is over. Marital dry season. I declare my joy of my knowledge is restored. My finances are restored. Every economic dry season. Every spiritual dry season. Lift your voice and pray that your spiritual dry season will come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will live for Jesus Christ. From today, pray that you will live for Jesus. You will seek the kingdom and his righteousness first. Lord, end my spiritual dry season. Give me appetite for your word. Increase my spiritual capacity for prayer. Increase my spiritual capacity for fasting. Increase my spiritual capacity for holiness. Let every spiritual dry season end in my life. Declare an end to every dry season in your life. Lift your voice and declare. Declare an end. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Declare an end totally to every form of dry season in your life. Shabadabaya. Please say it right now. Say it. Anybody who have never said, take your phone and say it right now. God richly bless you for sharing. As you say, may every dry season in your life come to an end. Command every dry season. Financial dry season must end. Command it to end. Chronic poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Chronic poverty and death in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to break. I break it, let it come to an end. Jubranda la bakabam, Jabada bam, Rabanda la bakabam. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, connect somebody online. Rakada bam, Jubranda la bakabam, Jubranda la bakabam, Jubranda la bakabam, Jubranda la bakabam, Rakada bam, Jubranda la bakabam, 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 Lift your hands in the name of Jesus. 
name my of spiritual Jesus. dry season my spiritual is, dry over. is over. Say it in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. My spiritual dry season spiritual dry is over. over. Physical dry season Physical dry dry is over. over. Material dry season Material dry is over. over. Economic dry season in my life is over. In the name of Jesus. Career and business dry season. I declare that your assignment is over. Academic dry season in my life. My children, my family. I declare it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, marital dry season in my life is over. Any form of delay caused by dry season is over. I declare financial dry season which has led to chronic poverty is over in my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that from today, from today, I am free from any form of dry season. The ones mentioned, the ones that are not mentioned, in the name of Jesus, I am out of it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There will be no opportunity dry seasons in your life. It is when you come to that place, opportunities end. But how does dry season come? Amen. Amen. Dry season can be very chaotic. It can be very frustrating. And therefore, today, I break every form of dry season. Amen. And mostly caused by the enemy. Yes. He fight and contend with you. What about ministry dry season? Yes. Spiritual dry season. It is a place you come to a crossroad. Things are not just moving. But to that declare, anybody that believes the word of the Lord in my mouth, Jesus. it comes to an end. Amen. One of the causes of dry season is idolatry. Mm -hmm. Can be as a result of the background where you are coming from. You are moving forward, they are fighting you. Yeah. Every step you take, they are fighting you. Mm -hmm. Idolatry of mine can cause dry season. Yes. Are you alive? Yes, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Another place, another major causes of dry season is disobedient to the voice of God. Mm. Anytime we disobey God's voice, mm. it can break dry seasons in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. Now Jonah was trying to escape to Tashes, the dry season. You know, do you know the way Jonah described the belly of a fish? He said, I went to hell. He has never been to hell before, but I think the things he heard about hell, Jonah concluded, there's no difference between hell and where I am. So I'm telling you, folks, the place was not a comfortable place at all. And the reason is because he disobeyed the voice of God. We are going to pray for grace to obey constantly the voice of God. Amen. Whether God is speaking through dream, through preaching of his word, through prophecy, let's ask for grace to obey the voice of God. Somebody say the voice of God. The voice of God. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what dry season. God told Saul, Saul, go and destroy all the Amalekites. Go and destroy them and like I leave no one and still spare them. It brought a dry season in this yeah, life. Yeah. Someone say your kingdom could have been established forever. Mm -hmm. But because of that, mm -hmm. let me tell you, folk, nothing can be dangerous that constantly and constantly and perpetually obey disobeying the voice of God. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even delay obedience is disobedient. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. It can bring seasons of dry seasons in your life. Any time we sense dry season, somewhere, somewhere, we have disobeyed God somewhere. Grace to obey the voice of the Lord from now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grace to discern your voice and grace to walk in obedience to your voice. Lord, in Jesus' name, anything I have done that has made you stop speaking to me, today I repent. I ask for your forgiveness and I receive grace from today to obey your voice in any area of my life. Lift your voice and let's pray that prayer finally. Pray for grace to obey the voice of God. That I will bring financial change, marital change, every change in your life. Mm. 
Lord, grace to obey your voice. Repent of any way you have constantly disobeyed the voice of God. Grace to discern his voice. Grace never to disobey the voice of the Holy Spirit. He said, when you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Pray for that grace. Thou end every form of dry seasons in your life. Raka Sarabaya. Rabandala Bakaba Parana. Shubrandala Bakaba. Raka Tapan. Shubrandala Bakaba Parana. Shubrandala Bakaba. Raka Tapan. Shubrandala Bakaba Parana. Shubrandala Bakaba Parana. Shubrandala Bakaba Parana. Shubrand the the Lord, grace to obey your voice. Grace to walk in total obedience. <laughs> God rich bless you if you have shared. Anybody who have said God rich bless you. God rich bless you if you have said. Anybody that has taken the burden to share so that this thing can be a blessing to others. God rich rich bless you. If you have not done, it's not too late. In the name of Jesus Christ. Share it right now. Makadaba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Jibranda le bekaba, Nimta kaba, Nimta le bekaba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Lakaduba, Jibranda le bekaba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Jibranda le bekaba ba ba ba, Jibranda le bekaba ba 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 ba, Jibranda le bekaba in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive grace grace to obey the voice of God. Receive grace to walk in obedience to his voice. Receive grace to descend the voice of God. From today, anything in you that causes you to disobey God's voice, we cast that thing to die in the name of Jesus. Anything in you that try to fight against your obedience to the voice of God, we command the thing to be annihilated in the name of Jesus. Let me, let me add to this fact that another thing that can cause you to enter into your place of dry season. I'm talking about causes of dry season. It's not enough for us to pray so that you build a defense around it. Apart from disobeying the voice of God, the next thing that can cause you to get into your dry season is impatient. Mm. Impatient. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Impatient. We need it from every angle. 
This is a generation that is in a hurry. And there is no shortcut with God. Mm. What do you mean by what I said? Running ahead of God is dangerous. Mm. Running ahead of God is dangerous. Impatience is the spirit that causes you to go ahead of God. Mm. We cannot go ahead of God. Yes, we rather have to let God lead us. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. It means that we have to follow God. Amen. 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 The history of the Bible says he led them. He led them through the wilderness. Not that they run ahead of God. We know where we are going already. And most time, any time you have stepped out of the center of the will of God, impatience is in oppression. Mm. Wow. Okay. Follow them who through faith and patience obtain the promise. So there are people who obtain the promise, but they combine two things, faith and patience. Amen. It means that things delay. But in the midst of the delayance, they know there is no deniance. Jesus. And so they waited. Job said, all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change comes. Amen. So they waited for the change. We are going to pray that the spirit of impatience will be destroyed. Amen. I didn't hear you. Amen. Amen. Any business that does not involve God huh, revolves around failure. If the business does not involve God, it will revolve around failure. If the marriage does not involve God, it will revolve around failure. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you do the right thing at the wrong time, you will still fail. Jesus. So it's important. It may look very light, but we have to pray so that we will not enter into dry season because dry seasons are very uncomfortable. I mean, spiritual dry season, uncomfortable. Financial dry season, uncomfortable. Academic dry season, you learn your best, but you fail. You teach others to pass, but you fail. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Academic dry season. Marital dry season. Do you know how many marriages are in turbulent in our generation? So many of them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And dry seasons in marriages. People walk to me and tell me, uh, my husband has never touched me for one year. Somebody said uh, 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 something. He say bed has no. Is it possible? He say the, the, the bed has never shaken in my house for how many? For four years. For four years. What kind of thing is that? Four years. Why? Hmm? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We receive grace Jesus. to walk mm. in the spirit of patience. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Every spirit of impatience. Every spirit. Every spirit of the enemy impatience. is trying to trap me with. Enemy is trying to trap me with. Today, Today I, renounce it. I, renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it. I receive grace, I receive grace to, walk to walk in the spirit of patience. In the, spirit of patience. In the name of Jesus in Christ. Name of Jesus. I, refuse I refuse to run ahead of God. Ahead of God. I, receive grace I receive grace to stay, to stay until the Lord give me direction. Give me direction. Lift up your voice and pray. Impatience should not let you marry the wrong man. Impatience should not let you marry the wrong woman. Impatience should not let you pick the wrong business partner. Impatience will not let you step into the core before the time. There is an appointed time for everything. Pray against the spirit of impatience. The enemy is trapping you with Kadabaya. Zadabaya. Every form of impatience in my life. I receive deliverance. I renounce that spirit. Lord, replace my impatience with the spirit of patience. I will not marry the wrong person because of impatience. I will not marry the wrong man because of impatience. I will not marry the wrong woman because of impatience. Declare, declare it. In the name of Jesus. I will not step into the ministry before my time. Lord, I am following the 